Have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length? That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater, a uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America. Here. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them, because it's lunchtime! Oh dear. Gotcha! Scared you, didn't I? Well, that's because I'm an afro -venator. That means African hunter. Pretty impressive, huh? But don't be worried, I won't hunt you. Watch me hunt that Jobaria. He won't see me coming and he'll be so scared. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's okay. I'm not that hungry. It wasn't like I was going to eat him in front of you. There really is no trick to hunting. You just have to look. Take that Chubaria, for example. He's huge. Very easy to spot. Perfect. But you know, you don't need to be 10 meters long with a mouthful of sharp teeth and three claws on each hand to be a hunter like me. For instance, you could hunt to find where in the world we are right now. Africa, that's right. There was also a clue in my name. Did you get that? Afro, meaning I'm from what's now known as Africa. Or you could hunt for fossils, like Paul Sereno, who found a nearly complete fossil of me in Niger in 1993. What a find! Someone who hunts for fossils is called a paleontologist. Ooh. Please excuse me. Come back and see me next week. I will teach you how to use your nails to comb your hair. Well, hello there. I've never seen you before. Looking around the late Jurassic Forest, are we? Looking for a big dinosaur? Maybe like me? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Diplodocus. Diplodocus. You found me. I'm kind of hard to miss, actually. <laughs> Hmm, I smell something yummy. Is it in here? Sigh. As you can see, I'm pretty big and it's hard for me to get into tight places. But that's why I have this really long neck. Tasty. I love eating plants, all kinds of them. That's why they call me a herbivore. But being this big doesn't always make it easy. Hmm, how can I describe how big I am? Have you seen my herd? They're easy to spot. Imagine, they're all big like me. I've been looking for them all afternoon. It's like they've been hiding from me. You know what else comes in handy? My front legs. See how they're shorter than the back ones? Having these types of legs helps me keep my balance. Watch! Ow. 
I also have these cool peg-like teeth that grow forward. They help me strip all sorts of plants and swallow them whole. Mm, whatever that is, it smells so yummy. Hey, maybe that's my herd. Hey, what's the... Surprise! Oh, hi there. I'm an Abelothorus, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Ah, chew! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Want to hear it? <laughs> you have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> One of the things that's unique about Abelosauruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. We abelothoruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds, because there's only one thing you can do. And that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon, because I want the whole world to know about Abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay! And stay out! Ah, you have come to the late Jurassic period in search of the great and powerful Compsonathus. That's Compsonathus. It's very easy if you practice. Ow! Hey, Bavariosaurus, did you hear what they're saying about me? I am the number one land predator in these islands in the death of sea. It's true. No dinosaur gets past me. Why, well, see these legs? They're long and slender, which helps me to run very, very fast. You are so full of hot air. I'm surprised you don't float away. Do you dare insult me, the mighty Gomsonathus? I can eat any lizard, dinosaur, or fish I want. Any one. I was the first complete dinosaur fossil that scientists could study. You, you see? see? Again, Again, I was I first. Was first. Num Number, number one. one. Bring in the size chart. Okay, so I'm on the small side. So what? I'm still number one. Excuse me while I go and show our friend why I'm number one. Oh, you think I cannot climb? Well, you are wrong. My bones, they're hollow like a bird's, which means I'm light. And, oh yeah, see this tail? It'll help me stay balanced. You can run, but you can't hide because I am the magnificent Compsonathus! Where'd it go? Aha! Found it! How's it going, eh? And welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 70 million years ago. I'm Edmontosaurus. That's Edmontosaurus, eh? I just found the puck so I can keep playing dino hockey with my pal, Eddie. Do you know where I got my name from? It's pretty cool. I was named after the city Edmonton, which is in what's now Alberta in Canada, where I'm from. Check it out, eh? My hands are made for pitching and catching. Eddie and I are practicing before the big game with the rest of our herd. Eh? Oh yeah, I'm the kind of dinosaur that can walk on two legs to get those really hard to reach leaves on trees. And four legs when I'm chasing Eddie. 
Do you see how long we are? As long as a sailboat. But we're pretty heavy, almost four tons. You're probably wondering how I could eat with a duck bill, eh? Well, I have up to 60 rows of teeth in my cheeks, eh? Our teeth allow us to eat the hardest seeds and conifer needles with no trouble at all. Ugh, I don't eat meat. Only plants go in this mouth. I'd better get back to practicing. You just saw us. Have a good one, eh? Hi there. I'm a Laphrosaurus. That's e la fro -saurus. It means nimble or lightweight lizard. Watch me. Hey, come over here. Over here. Yeah, this way. I'm gonna race with a Brachiosaurus back there. Not that is much of a contest. Nice rock! I'm so fast I can even take time out and sun myself. I can tan faster than he can run. I have no worries. Ah, that's alive. Oh yes, I'm super fast. And that's got a lot to do with the way I'm built. You see, I'm a carnivore, so I eat meat. I'm perfectly built for chasing smaller animals out here in the plain. And how am I built, you ask? See, I'm long and lean. And these long legs may be perfect for running. And my tail helps me stay balanced when I turn. And I'm light. I weigh about 210 kilograms. Which is why I don't have to worry about... Hey, where'd he go? I don't believe this. Brachiosaurus won. How could this be? Way faster than Brachiosaurus. Fine. I suppose if I had done less talking and more running, I would have won the race. Okay, you, get up! I challenge you to another race! <laughs> Am I glad to see you! I thought you'd pass right by. I'm Eustreptospondylus. That's pronounced Eustreptospondylus. But you can call me Esther. This is my island, here in the Middle Jurassic period, nearly 160 million years ago. Pretty nice, huh? Eustreptospondylus means well-curved vertebrae, which are those bones in your back. As you can see, we are great dancers. Theropods like us are naturals. A theropod means two-legged dino, by the way. This makes us great at doing things on two legs, like running and dancing. And you can tell how much I love to dance. We're pretty long, about the size of a city bus. And we're four meters high at the hips. That's like how high you can jump up on a trampoline. Like most theropods, we have big teeth to eat with and two small arms, which makes it hard to clap but perfect for playing the maracas. You know what time it is? That's right, limbo time! The limbo king! Only one thing to do now. Give the trophy to the best dancer around. And then, what else? Oh, hi! I'm Corythosaurus. That's Cor... Rytho... Saurus. Do you know what that means? Helmet lizard! It's because of this thing on my head! My herd and I use them to make amazing sounds! Listen! <laughs> Okay, that's not exactly what it's supposed to sound like. It must be all the dust from the volcanoes over there. Wow, what a sound! That's awesome! How come I can't make a big sound? 
Why can't I do it? Did you hear that? It's my herd calling. I'm gonna answer them if it's the last thing I do. What am I doing wrong? There's my herd. I wonder if they want to play with me. Hey guys, what do you say we play a game of... Whoa! Did you hear that? Did you? Oh joy! I wonder if they heard it. Oops, sorry to wake you. I was just so excited that I finally made the same sound as you guys. I'll be quieter. I'm Dasmanosaurus, the frightful lizard. Did I scare you? Oh yeah, I'm the dino. Ah! Look at that scary dinosaur! Run for your life! That was a close one. Let me help you say my name. Das Plesiosaurus. Das Plesiosaurus. Seventy-five million years ago is a horror show of carnivorous monsters. But you're never going to find another scarier than me. See these teeth? These are dagger sharp, curved, and they have the same edges as saw. See? Saw? Get it? Ha <laughs> ha! These teeth are huge. Uh, only smaller than my future cousin, Tyrannosaurus Rex. But they're still big! Uh, like I said before, uh, my name means scary lizard. And there's nothing scarier than me. Let's think of some scary animals. A lion is scary, all right. <laughs> what else? A great big grizzly bear. Those are totally scary. I'm telling you, it's my choppers as much as my size. Uh, I'm one frightful lizard, all right. I'm also hungry. Now that is scary. Psst. Hello, I'm the Argentinosaurus. That's Argentinosaurus. I'm trying to hide. <laughs> oh no, this is not a good place to hide. You see, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, but I don't think I'm very good at it. I am from what is now known as Argentina. That is in South America. Ugh. This is hopeless. I am too big to hide. That's what you get when you know we're 70 metric tons and 23 meters long. I am even longer than three school buses. Mmm, yum! As a herbivore, I love eating plants. That bush looks too delicious. What are you doing? You're eating my hiding place! I am sorry I get so hungry. I need to eat 45 kilograms of food a day. And all this running and hiding, well, it just made me hungrier. Aha, got you both. You two are really bad at this game. I think I'm just too big for this game. But maybe we can play something else. Whee! Archerodontosaurus here in the late Cretaceous period, 110 million years ago. Car, chero, donto, saurus. It means jagged, shark-toothed dinosaur. And for good reason. These teeth are 20 centimeters long. Pretty scary, huh? 
Well, they will be, anyway. I've got a loose tooth! When it's out, I'm gonna be the happiest theropod ever! Theropod means beast feet, and there are lots of dinosaurs that belong to that family. Believe it or not, birds are in my family. Of course, T-Rex is the most famous theropod. But guess what? I'm just as big, if not bigger, than T-Rex. I'm 13 meters long! But I live in North Africa. Maybe if I don't wiggle it, it'll fall by itself. Maybe it won't be today. out of my egg. Setiosaurus here. Let me say it slowly for you. Setiosaurus. Ah. Setiosaurus means whale lizard. And I am pretty big, aren't I? <laughs> I'm a herbivore, like other sauropods, such as Apotosaurus and Diplodocus. Sometimes, being heavy has its advantages. Unlike other dinos, I'm really heavy. It's because my bones are solid, <laughs> not hollow. <laughs> I lived along what is now known as Europe. Huh? Did you hear that? Hardly any other dinos can eat me, but you don't want to meet the ones who can. Well, gotta go find my herd. Safety in numbers, you know. <laughs> Goodbye! Right, let's get on with it then. I am Eotyrannus, and this is the early Cretaceous period, over 130 million years ago. Oh, these two young sprouts here are juvenile Eotyrannuses. And fine young fellows they'll turn out to be, I can assure you. Today, I'm about to teach these fine young fellows how to hunt the mighty... Comsonathus. Yay! Eotyrannus fossils have been discovered in these parts of what is now Britain. It's where Comsonathuses are found as well. And Comsonathuses just happen to be our favorite meal. Isn't that right, chaps? Now, some of you may think that all members of the Tyrannosaur family are to be found in either Asia or North America. The fact is, we're all over the map. My name, Eo Tyrannus, means early tyrant lizard. Yes, we Tyrannosaurs are certainly the most ferocious carnivores. That means meat eater to have ever walked the face of the earth. Why? Eh? What's all that racket then? Where was I? Oh, yes. Now, we Eotyrannuses are a bit smaller than our cousins, the Tyrannosaurus rex. But we're just as skilled as the next chap when it comes to what we're really good at. Namely, hunting the mighty Comsonathus. And that's what we're going to do today, right chaps? Now the most important thing about hunting the mighty Comsonathus, keep your eyes and ears open at all times. Ready, Sprouts? Let the Comsonathus hunt begin! Hi, my name's Min 
me. It's very easy to say, Min, me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Moe. We're very special dinosaurs, called Ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. Hey, we could have raced Australia and back by now. That's where our fossils were found. It was now known as Australia. A place called Minmies Crossing. Get ready. Get set! And... Ugh. Eh... I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, me! That's what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Ineosaurus. That's i ne o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede! 